What is success really? Does anybody know? I mean, I think that we all define it a little differently. It's been kind of a mindfuck, for lack of a better word. Loving all of that. I am so proud and impressed by you. Six transactions in five months, Balzi? I have made more money in the past six months than I've ever made in my life, and I'm probably getting lucky, but I'm just like, whoa. This calls for a little chat, if you will, a little video, a little reflection session, because what's going on? We need to celebrate. I think I'm finally understanding how to work smarter, not harder. Okay, I'm just kidding, it's not that easy. But I did wanna share a few things that have changed in my life from before to now, before and after, now and then. I don't know, you get what I'm trying to say. To help me on a day-to-day -day basis believe in myself enough to have success and have the things that I desire. As you may know, I was pursuing acting for the past 11 years. I was in New York for five years and then I was in LA for five and a half and I moved back because of COVID. I can probably count on one hand how many bookings I had in 11 years. Okay, maybe a hand and a half, but you can see how this can get to your head. Like, why would I be doing something that I wasn't good at? Because I loved it, and because I was learning, and because the feeling that it was giving me was unlike anything else. That was a good enough reason. Let's go. <laughs> All of the things that I learned in my pursuits of the entertainment industry are the most valuable things I can bring to any business anywhere. Rejection, dealing with it every day in acting, same in real estate. People pleasing, every day. Performing, being on all the time. Every day. Being on call for an audition at any time of the day to multiple different casting directors. True, if I've been doing that in Hollywood, I might as well just give this a shot and I'm not gonna fail because I'm so sick of failing. I've failed at everything else that I've tried. <laughs> It is really tough looking back and being like, wow, I don't have much to show for it. But I've been able to bring all of those skills, all of those hardships and apply them to be a better person and a better entrepreneur. I got my real estate license six months ago and I've been talking about it a lot on my channel and I've been extremely blessed with having seven transactions closed. I don't know if that's beginner's luck, I hope I'm not jinxing it, but either way, that kind of success that I've experienced is completely different than what I was doing before. I don't even know who this is going to help, but if you are somebody who might be struggling in your career pursuit or any area of your life and you're just like, why can't I get it? I'm, you know, you're just exhausted, you're tired. Honey, just wait. Just wait a little bit longer. You will find what is meant for you. And some of the pivotal things that I've learned slowly over time is one, I have more confidence now. I think that comes with age and experience and maturity and just a whole lot of acceptance. Like, hi, hello, this is me. What you see is what you get, take it or leave it. Is that arrogant? Maybe, but it's better than my other option of low self-esteem, sadness, and just truly getting in my own way every day. Another thing that I've learned is to listen. Something that I still am not great at and I'm working on, when you're listening, you actually have the power in the conversation. When you give someone space to express themselves, you're gaining their trust. Ooh, this one was good. This one is so good. Also, if you're in a conversation and you are asking the questions, which require you to listen, you are driving the conversation. So I would hate to say that success is about power, but it kind of is. And if you want a little more power, healthy power, Something that's helped me is shut my mouth. Okay, something else I've learned. By the grace of God, I do not take things personally as much. Oof, I wish I would have known this one sooner. It just saves you so much time and energy when you don't take things personal. Control what you can control, you know? This is a reminder to self, really. And one of the last things I did, and I have to continue to do every day, well, all those things I have to do every day, but this one specifically, is I have to constantly be willing to look at my shit. We all have shit, it's fine. But we distract ourselves with other things in order to not have to really look at the thing that's in our way. So when you just take it and look at it and address things one day at a time, one thing at a time, things just become a little easier, a little more gentle. Like you don't have to maneuver through so many different things when you just like look at the shit, own the shit, be the shit. You know what I mean? I did not have this whole confidence thing before and I'm not sure how long it's gonna last so I wanna make sure that I get video of it so that I know at least I was there at some point. It's so important, really. It, it really, 
I think it's important. Any creative person who also is an entrepreneur to be self-aware of these things and to really find the difference in between what success looks like. Because yes, it's great to have money in my account. Before I was living paycheck to paycheck, more or less, and now I have some cushion in my account. I'm still paying off some student loans and other debts. But it's, yeah, that's nice. And it's like, oh wow, I can go get the organic coffee drink that I want versus, actually I still like the, I still like the burnt stuff at the 7-Eleven. So that wasn't a good analogy. But you, you know what I'm saying. Yes, it's nice to have things, but those things don't really make me happy. I was really excited. I was gonna get a new car. I was thinking about it. I had this nice commission check and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get a new car. I started listing off reasons why I should get one, which a lot of them were legit. You know, like a two door and a Honda Civic isn't the best for ride alongs with customers. But I was like, okay, unless you can buy this 100% cash and still have cushion in your account, might not be the best idea. Hold up. We don't make impulsive decisions anymore. No, we don't. We take a step back. We weigh out our pros and cons. And to be honest, I don't want a car payment. I haven't had one in a long time, so I'm gonna keep driving the car. This is just a side note, but I would say everything that I've pursued, everything that I've started, which I've started a lot of different things. I'm a great starter, I'm not a great finisher. All of these things and careers have one thing in mind, to empower you. I don't know if it's working but I would love to know. So if you could please leave a comment, like or subscribe. I just wanna be empowering for you. It truly is what wakes me up in the morning to be better, to be a better me. And when I see other people trying to do the same, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like, okay, whew, I'm not a freak. Like, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like without being weird. Any Hoosier, that was a long-winded explanation of what is different in my life and within me from before to now, before and after, now and then. I don't know. It could be that I found my true calling and that I should have been doing real estate years ago, but there's something in me that says, no, 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 honey, you did not use this opportunity to start over. You simply took all of the things that you truly internally and mentally struggled with and you said, come on, come on, you're coming with me. We're gonna make a damn good real estate agent and ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. You know, like that, that boss bitch vibe just has to like come out once in a while, honey. Like go off, it feels good. It's also easier to do when I'm recording at home by myself and nobody's around. You know what I mean? So, thanks so much for watching. What is success really? Regardless, that can really get to you.